We're here today to protest Nikki Haley coming to the state of Vermont to try and get votes on Super Tuesday, where the in which the Vermont primary is happening. And we're here to say very clearly about Nikki Haley, she is no alternative to Donald Trump. If you look beneath her debonair and more polite mask, and see what she actually stands for. She stands for the same reactionary policies that both Trump and Biden stand for, especially on the question of by uh, the question of Palestine. She is for the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. She supports Netanyahu's war on, on Gaza, the mass extermination of the Palestinian people. She told Netanyahu to, quote, finish the job. So we're here to protest her bigotry, racism, and her support of the apartheid state of Israel and its genocidal war on Palestine. But we're also here to oppose all the other things that she stands for. We know she's a paid agent of the corporate elite. She's for tax cuts for the super rich. She has stood against unions organizing in the non-union state of South Carolina. She's against full abortion rights. She's against trans rights. She has a question about whether the Civil War was actually about slavery. She's called the United States not a racist country. Really, Nikki Haley is part of the problem, not part of the solution, especially on the question of Palestine. When we protest Nikki Haley, that doesn't mean we support Trump, who we also despise as somebody who supports apartheid, genocide, and ethnic cleansing. We also oppose Joe Biden, who stands for what Israel is doing right now. He politically supports it, he funds it, and he provides the arms for Netanyahu to carry out the genocide in Gaza and the mass attack on Palestinians in the West Bank and inside Israel itself. So we're here to stand up for Palestine in solidarity with the Palestinian resistance because we know our liberation is bound up with the liberation of Palestine. The $1 trillion U.S. Pentagon budget could go to meet people's needs here in the United States, not politically support, fund, and arm regimes like Israel to carry out genocide. That makes it very concrete. Our liberation is tied up with Palestinian liberation. Palestine is a local Vermont issue. Every single Vermonter should stand with Palestine. What are the next projects of the Coalition for Palestinian Liberation is launching what we're calling the Apartheid Free Community Campaign? And it's similar to the resolution, the apartheid-free Burlington resolution that the city council scuttled in January and refused to put on the ballot. But it's a pledge for groups to take up, not just the city council or a popular vote, but clubs, church groups, religious institutions, political organizations, sports teams, any kind of community to pledge themselves to oppose Israeli apartheid, to oppose support for occupation, and to work to end settler colonialism in Palestine, while affirming the rights of everyone in the U.S. and in Palestine to equal rights. So we'll be launching this and getting groups to sign on and make the pledge and then we'll then then figure out how to work together with other groups and with the Palestine coalition to exert pressure on uh, institutions on governments on corporations on the university uh, to carry out boycott divestment sanctions on Israel so that's one of the things that everyone should look out for if you want to get involved with this. Contact the Coalition for Palestinian Liberation and you can look us up on our website. We are here as uh, residents of Burlington, residents of Vermont, opposing Nikki Haley stand and the statement that encourages genocide and ethnic cleansing on Gaza. When she got asked about what the Gazan people who have been driven from the, their destroyed house, where to go, 
her answer was clear that they should leave the Gaza Strip and to go anywhere else. She believes that ethnic cleansing is legitimized because the Israeli and the apartheid laws of Israel will allow her to do so. We ask ourselves as Vermoner, why a new mini for a president will take that stand? She thinks she can gain more votes from our voters by standing with right-wing government of Israel, by an apartheid laws of Israel, and to be a racist. And I believe of Nikki Haley, personally, goes to Israel, they are racist against her and against her origin and against her race. What we are saying here, we are not standing with the opposition of Haley. We are not nominating anybody. What we are tr trying to nominate is justice for the Palestinian, stopping aid to the Israeli, is, uh, stopping this war and call for immediate ceasefire because this is the right way to do it. We appreciate it. Hi, my name is Mirza Korajkic and I'm a Bosnian-American Vermonter. I've lived here for 23 years now and uh, I'm here today uh, to protest uh, Nikki Haley and to tell her that her hate is not welcome in our peaceful state. Uh, we are peace-loving people here in Vermont and uh, when she went on the uh, public media, the mainstream media and said finish them all, we heard you loud and clear Nikki Haley and that type of hate is not accepted anywhere and especially not here in Vermont. So we're here today, we have over 200-300 people, uh, yesterday we were out uh, we had over uh, about a thousand people uh, essentially sending you the message that your hate is not welcome here uh, and we do not support people who spread hate. Instead, we want candidates that are pro-peace uh, for and uh, peace for all people, including the Palestinian people. Uh, we have over 30,000 people in Palestine killed right now because of your words, finish them all. And Israel still is following your words. They're trying to finish them all. 30,000 people, more than half of those people are little children, Nikki Haley. I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud. And that is a sarcastic statement. But I really hope, what I really, really hope is that you are ashamed of yourself for uh, telling folks to kill children, little children. Those children are innocent like any other children. And so are majority of the Palestinian people. And that's, that's all I got to say. How are you guys doing today? We're here at the uh, pro-Palestine rally to show Nikki Haley how we're not going to stand up to her inferior immigration crisis and we're just not going to have this. It's unjust and it's really nice to see all these people here coming together to support this. And I don't really have anything much to say else. But. Free Palestine! All right, we have another protester that just came out. They are kicking us out because they're afraid. We stand for justice. They stand for injustice. They stand for exploitation. We stand for liberation. Here, give it up for Zach. Woo! Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, it's, it's Zane, and we, oh, see, uh, it's sorry. all good, but... She, I mean, she's just pure evil. She started talking about immigration and how she passed the toughest immigration law, which goes against real people. They're putting real people in cages, arresting people. These are asylum seekers. Here, can I put this? I can scream better. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold it. <laughs> These are asylum seekers, and they are people who need to be taken care of. And they want to shove that away. They want to put cage in cages. They want to support the genocide. They want. They call for an end to division and hatred. Yet they are the division, and they are the hatred. They hate freedom. 
They hate freedom. They hate American values. They hate our right to free speech. They hate our right to protest. And they are scared because they know their cause is wrong. They know they are unjust. When you fight for rich tax cuts against women's rights, for to say to finish the job in Gaza, you are pure evil. And they are waking up to that, but they're scared. So when they hear the voices, and when I stared down Nikki Haley and called her an American disgrace, that is what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Zane, right? Yeah. Thanks so much, Zane. So as more people come out, we'll have them speak. But in the meantime, let's keep our picket going loud and proud. And after what Zane said, let's lead the chant from Palestine to Mexico. Border walls have got to go. From Palestine to Mexico. Border walls have got to go. From Palestine to Mexico. Border walls have got to go. Palestine to Mexico. Border walls have got to go.